Hi everybody and welcome to The Bunker. Uh, it's a short FMV game standing for full motion video. So this is not CGI or any kind of animation. This is video. And um, I, I guess it's quite evident from what you see right now. And they say the game is about two to three hours long. And um, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go into it and let's see how it goes. So, new game, loading, 3rd of July 1986, RGHQ secret nuclear bunker in England, government and military personnel 58. Okay. This straight up looks like Winston Churchill's uh, bunker. There is there is one in London, I know, uh, under London or close to London. I'm not sure where it is exactly, but there is one and it's called Churchill's Bunker and it's from like the, the Second World War. Is she having birth? Clear path. Yeah, she is. Absolutely pregnant. That is some clenching hands. Yeah, keep pushing. You can do it. You can do it. Whoa. Explosions. That saline bag is pretty dirty. Uh, he carried that away so she could not see. No! Breathe. It's a miracle! That is... Awful. So am I military or government now? Just wondering. Because I'm classified as one of them. White out. Uh-oh. So kid born in a bunker. Never going to see the outside world? 30 years later. Day 10,998. So 30 years and we're still using typewriters? The dorms? It seems kind of deserted. Oh, blood. Did we run out of people? Oh, we did get some newer PCs, though. Generators. <laughs> Treasure Island. <laughs> and a Bible. Is that mother? You've got to say it again, John. You can't leave me alone, Mom. No, that would be rude. I'll be here. I'll always be here. <laughs> And you've got to say it again. As long as I stick to the routine, I'll be safe. As long as I'll I always be here. The routine. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> what time is it? Reading time, Mum. Reading time. Okay. Treasure Island. So Bible, Treasure Island. Let's go. I yeah. Let's go Treasure Island. He was consumed by the time behind another trunk. I think my watch. Oh, she is not well. 
Mm. I love you too. I'll be here. I keep you safe. I promise. Those lung sounds. No. 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 Please. Please. It's over, John. It is over. Wow. Day 11,109. Hmm. Okay, so the routine is medical vitamins, dosimeter, so that's for um, uh, radiation, radio, radiation check, food, mother. Okay, so med medical. So we're going to open this. And we needed vitamins, so let's see what do we what do we have in here? We got this and this. This these are the vitamins. Yep. I'm kind of wondering what they do for like. I can check my radiation sunlight. level with the dosimeter. Yeah. Check the radiation. Radiation is just over 70 MR. That's acceptable. Hmm, okay. So can we... Okay. So radio? Do we have anybody that we can talk with? Or are we the last survivors? He doesn't look that confident. Um, yeah, keep checking. There's something. I wonder... I wonder if they lived underground for so long that everybody forgot about them and everything's back to normal upstairs, you know, on surface level and everything's fine now, but they've just, you know, isolated themselves that hard. Radiation check? Well, I guess... I guess if they're checking radiation from the surface level and it's like super high, then obviously no. Regional governmental regional government HQ 5.1 Davis Roberts operating system system okay time bunker survivors one ah oh, crap we are the only one <sighs> we are the only survivor it's out of 59 it's just me now everything okay all systems functional bunker radiation is normal yeah but that's inside good but what about outside? Okay, food. I guess we grow our own. I need right? to choose my food first. Oh. So we're just living off of rations and eventually we will run out. Also, like toilet paper. Peas where where do you get toilet paper from? Suppose. So that makes 27 years, three months and 14 days of food left. Wow. Canned food on the crapper. 
I guess if you lift off of canned food for long enough, that would destroy your bowels. Okay, mother. How do we check on mother? Oh no, you did not. Are you just letting her rot in bed? You're kidding me. The drawing I did for mum. Oh man, you come on. What shall I read to mum? Cast thy bread upon the running waters, for after a long time thou shalt find it again. Give a portion to seven and all. Surely you must have like an incinerator or something. Give her a evil should be upon this cell. proper send off. If the cloud be full, they will pour out rain. Did you upon just the leave earth. like fifty eight people to rot in their bed? The, to the south or the north, in that place soever it shall fall. There shall it be. That is shocking. That is not what I would have done. 11,110. Are we going to do the same thing again? I guess. Okay, now, now they're speeding it up. Pills. Dose meter. So 70 was okay. Radiation is nearly ATMR. Ooh. It's increasing. Uh-oh. That's not good. Radio? It's the same things. That sounded like talking, though. System okay. Survivors one. Perform radiation check. Yes. Oxygen. Boiler, server, water, communications, air filter, sewage, and electrical. All systems functioning normally. And food. What are we eating today? We're going to take something from a different box. 27 years. Three months. And 13 days left. That must be awful living like that. It is the most repetitive. Like, I, I, I get all the the stuff that he did at the beginning. Like, all the, the routine stuff. But what is he... Yeah, the dreary morning's work before us. What is he doing... There no sign of any wind. Like, the, the rest of the day. And manned. And the ship wrapped three or four. Cause yeah, miles that's gonna that's gonna island, take what up around the narrow passages to the I don't know half an hour a day, I to an hour maybe, the and then reading to his mother. Let's let's say that's an hour to an hour and a half. What else? What what does he do the next day? What does he do like for the rest of the day? What happens? Because I would sort of, you know, expect that he would go around, like, they have computers, um, the whole thing scanning the radio, if, if, yeah, it's, it's increasing, it's definitely increasing, because scanning the radio, I, I would do that for way more, if that is one of the tasks where you're trying to find contact with the outside world. I would do that way more. Oh. System error. Please wait. And now, analyzing. Something's wrong. Server failure. Oh, I guess that's the thing. That's why she said stay in your room. He has not left the room. 
I think he's he got his room, her room, toilet with all the rationing and Where's the manual? Evening, Sobaluva. This has never happened before. How are you doing, friend? If I find the manual, I can fix this. Okay, manual should be cupboard. That is a heavy duty man. Um, that might take a while, son. Okay, so manual reads, in the event of server failure, make announcement that main's power is being shut down for maintenance. Find fuse box located in storage room level two and identify damaged fuse. Locate replacement fuse. Shut off main power. Wait 10 seconds. Replace damaged fuse. Switch mains power back on and perform a systems check. Okay. Find the fuse box level two. Find we can do fuse that. Box level two. I would take that page out and take it with me. Uh, doing fine. Still looking for a job, but otherwise, all right. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so look at toy collection. Um, we are, uh, Mum, my favorite toy I made, it took ages to make the arms. Okay, so this is, this is our toy collection. We're gonna collect those. I need to find the fuse box on level two. Yeah. But we also need to bring stuff. There's nothing in there I need. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, I'm let's... not sure I can do this. Um... You can do it. I believe in you. Level 1 hallway cam. I love how you have to do the motions. Yeah, he must be going through so much anxiety. Because he's hunkered down for so long. Like, this is his life. And having to move out of that space. Compose yourself, John. You can do it. I believe in you, buddy. Fire door, keep closed. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it, buddy. It's locked. There must be a key. I agree. Okay, so room one. Is that mother's room? That is mother's room. Okay, good. Let's check out what do we got in here. Is that a stethoscope? Yeah, we got nothing. These FMV games are pretty damn cool, though. Oh, there's a key. And a bunch of other stuff. The key. Now I have to leave. You do. But before we do, I want to see if there's other stuff. My old drawings. Oh, she kept them. Nice. What do we have? Army man. Does it say Greg? Uh, rocket? A dolphin. Okay, cool. Anything else in this one? Nope. She liked it when I read to her. Uh, domestic nuclear shelter technical... She liked it when I read to her. Guidance? What do I do, Mum? You can do it, John. You can do it. Yeah, we got, we got nothing left in this room that we can do, so let's go out and let's take the door, because now we got the key. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I need to put in the key first, but no. 
He thought of that himself. That's good. Okay, John, we can do it. What's that at your feet? Let's go. Small steps. Oh, he remember playing um, on those steps as a kid. Whoops. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it out. Up. 14 months at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make 14. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but scurvy rickets. Scurvy? Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. So. <sighs> Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this. And so how did you go from eight months of supplies to 27 years? I guess it Is makes sense if die, everybody sir? dies. Fighting over scraps. And there's only one left. It will last you longer. Just but cut your wrist now, and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. Hmm. Fighting over scraps. Your rations. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Mm, yeah. Hmm. And how did they get rations? And also, can a can of something last 27 years? And he's 30 now, so... I can't imagine it being like 60 years old. That doesn't make sense. Or does it? Like, what is the expiration date on most canned food? It's like three, five years, maybe? At, at the max? So I can go down, I can go to level two. My instructions said go to level two. So we So we're gonna go to level two. Let's put on some lights. Okay, so this is this is the main work floor. We got some, got a lot of hot spots. So we got a computer, computer, and some doors. Let's check out this computer. Is that a Commodore pet? Um, regional reports. Uh, supplies, census, goodbyes, generator fuel. Looks fine. Medical. Officer Edmonds. Uh, cause of death unknown, autopsy inconclusive. Cause of death acute, gastrointestinal failure, possible radiation sickness. Personal logs. It's going to be fine, okay? So maybe fine isn't the right word, but we have enough supplies to make it through. I'm sure of it. If we can just keep it together and be sensible with the rations, then we can make it. Sure, none of us are going to get fat down here, but I could use <laughs> losing a few pounds anyway. Miscellaneous. Things I miss. Egg. And chips. Having a bath. My bed. Warm sun on my neck. Grass. Chocolate. Natalie. Who's Natalie? Things I hate. Sardines. The bunker smell. And level five. Level five. Oof. Level five. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in, shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? 
Trust me, get sent to this sardine tin. <laughs> Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. <laughs> Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. Yeah, it's fine. So we're going to move on. So they haven't been down here for a while and it and it actually looks quite neat. I'm sort of questioning how that can be though. We've got a couple of doors. We got this. We got that. What is this? Sam. Oh. He's nice and smiles to me. Okay, so we got another toy. And then we got these doors, and I got a light over there, and I got movement. So let's check out this place. Radiation warning map. So we got the exit, the stairs. So this is... Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. This is uh, this is the whole map of the facility. So we have level one, room one, room two. So room one is mom's room. Room two is my room. Then we got the store room and sick bay. So I guess that's where we have all the supplies. So we have an emergency stairwell that goes to an exit here. We're in level two. So we have main office, electrical, office one and office two, the war room, the air filtration room, and a fire exit stairs goes to the cooling system slash sewage. And then we can get out that way. Okay. Let's check out the offices. Probably locked, right? No. They're not. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I'm... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. Hmm. We'll write That's some mother. tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Find out where they were working, what they've had contact with, and what they've been eating. We need a source. Margaret. It's all right. Come here, love. Hmm. I'm busted. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know, if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. Let me put a tick. Hmm. I don't like it here. Uh, so we have some surveillance. Oh, they actually work. See anything on them though? Yeah, nothing's really going on. These almost look like s stills. Let's go and check out his computer. Uh, F. W. Hurley wearing brown residue around bulkhead seals. Don't know what to do about it. This one rubber compound shouldn't be perishing yet. Indicates corrosion from something it's in contact with. Unless the cowboys use cottage cheese instead of VX compound, which given how the rest of this place is built, wouldn't be unlikely. Response by C. Bishop. Nothing we can do. No replacement seals. Um, Hurley, rear bulkhead, bulkhead beam next to recycling unit in uh, showed stress fracturing. Oh, so it's cracking through paint surface. Two rivets loose welded, but looks like similar progressing in roof beams two and three along adjacent wall. PJ says not major structural issue. Can we trust PJ though? But if it flexes any more, it might spring a seal loose and we could be in rad trouble, so radiation trouble. Best we can do is foam sealant, but we're running low or seal off completely. Hmm. Responsive by response by C Bishop. 
gone through drawings with PJ and Frank, can't waste foam, told Frank to install additional Geigers. So we have warning if rat breach. Fair enough. Three. And this is 1986. So unexpected moisture in C12, PJ says, might be condensation from the filter system. But one of the purifier lines runs right behind that wall, worried that we might have a leak in the water system. Request permission to shut down the system and take off the wall panel between C12 and C13 to look into it. Hopefully can fix it by uh, fix it that way. Trouble is, if there's a leak higher up, we can't get in to examine it because the ceiling there is a solid weld. Response from C. Bishop filter spec sheet says condensation can be caused by rapid warming, and cooling or filter system. No cause for concern. God save the queen. Attention, the mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. So even though he is the only person uh, alive, he still did the broadcast, so... He, he is doing his thing. Oh, another toy. No one likes this one. So he bad. Commissioner bad. Let's take the second office. Oh. So this is sort of a meeting room. Doctor. Oh, another toy. The doctor. Oh, let's check out the doctor. I didn't read him. Do, do, do. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Doctor, 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 doctor. There. Looks after all the injured soldiers. I'm trying to find all nine toys. So let's. Well, well. Let's oh. say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. Are these all the bomb strikes? That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities, maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. Yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 nukes. That's... That's quite a lot. Could be. They built this place in six weeks. Six weeks. How can anyone expect it to be safe? Yeah, it's quite fast. There must be a leak. There must be. Mr. Bishop says I that know it's... what he says. He doesn't want everyone to panic. Silly old Vera having another one of her turn. <coughs> Look. Look here. More blood. Blood? I'm not being silly. I'm not. That is an awful cough. It's not just me. It is quite dusty, so it checks out because that was what I was about to say before is that it it was quite weird that everything looks so neat if he hasn't been down here for years. Yeah, I guess we're done with the tape. Book? AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. Okay. AB cites two safety incidents and asks the committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern no need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. 
Well... Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. But you also need to be forthcoming. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. Yes. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Requests end to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Okay. Meeting ended. Well, the main issue is that the reason why people don't trust the bunker hier hierarchy is because of secrecy. So if you guys aren't forthcoming with what's going on, then people will straight up just not believe what you're saying. That is, you know, if they feel like you're holding a lot of stuff back and you're keeping secrets, they are not going to be listening to you. <clears throat> okay, so they have sort of um, a dose of radiation here and what the effect on humans is. <clears throat> so if 0 to 70 and 75 to 150 is virtually no short-term effects some nausea 150 to 250 nausea and vomiting within 24 hours some incapacitation after two days some mortality Ooh. 250 350 symptom free period two days um two weeks some mortality in two to four weeks 350 600 um Heavy mortality. Mmm. Two to four weeks. Incapacitation prolonged for survivor. Over 600 mortality one week. Damn. That is rough. Yeah, we have nothing in this room, so we need to go to electrical. <clears throat> So we need to, we need to find the fuses. It must be super creepy to just be alone in this place. Cause we have these drawers. Let's see what's in them. What the heck? Records? Only open one drawer at a time. <laughs> actually, some of these actually don't allow you to open more than one drawer at a time. This is radio equipment. And it says something on it. But yeah, there's, there's really nothing that we can do. Okay. Live electrical equipment. Yes, so we needed to turn off the power. We needed to wait 10 seconds, take out the broken fuse, replace with new fuse, and then turn it back on again. And that's the FS2 fuse. Yeah, so we need to we need to turn off the power. Locate replacement fuse. Oh. Okay, replacement fuse. I need to turn the power off. Yes. Otherwise you could die. I should turn the power off first. Yes, I agree. That's the damaged one. Okay, so it's the third. The third one is the one that... Um, is that because it looks weird? Okay, so if we if we move back... Uh, did you know radiation have also been a serious issue for computing back in the day? No. I didn't actually know. 
Oh, that's the replacement one. Replacement. Oh, shh. Oh, we do have a couple of extra. Power off. Everything goes black. So. It's always. It's always creepy to do stuff like this because will it start up? Switch mains power back on. Because that's always the thing. Will it start back up? When you put power on. So I guess we're just, uh, we're just moving back now and check if system is restored. I'm just checking if everything is like, I haven't listened to this tape. Dan, this is Alex. Please send this out to all the Berkshire stations and let me know. Thanks. Berkshire. <clears throat> Swan. I'm trying to contact my brother Jonathan. Jonathan Swan. He. When the four minute warning came, I was on the phone to him. And he said he'd got a place in one of the Berkshire bunkers, but I don't know which one. If he's with you and his wife, his wife's name is Sarah. John, if you're there, or if anyone has any news on him. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's much else we can do in here, so let's leave. That doesn't sound good. What? Are we going down or are we going up? Down or up? Down or up? Let's go down. We have to check it out what we do oh his anxiety it is bad I can't go down at all well if you can't go down let's go back in and check what happened on level two? I don't know if it was on level two. Something just sounded weird. But if he refuses to go... I guess we better check the rooms then. Yeah, there's nothing. Commissioner's room? Nothing? There's absolutely nothing going on. Electrical? Because if he refuses to go down, we will just have to go up and see. I've changed the fuse. Yes. Okay, in that case, we just need to go back. But we can always check upstairs and go through sick bay and. What's that horrible noise? Yeah, there's there's that sound again. But he's looking in this direction. That's what I don't get. Maybe he's not alone. <clears throat> Let's see. 
please be okay, please be okay. Okay, so yeah, we're walking to our terminal and we're gonna check if all systems are go. System check, oxygen, everything okay, okay, okay. Fail, air filtration. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Yeah, you need to go down. You need to go down to level four. <laughs> Warning. Radiation detected, NBC suit. I need an NBC suit before I can yep. go to level four. I don't have an NBC suit. I guess we can get those at level three then. I, I want to check out the sick bay. So the storeroom, I guess that's where we have all our rations. So that is the ledger. Yeah, baked beans, peas and carrots, peaches, and sardines. Nothing in here but beans. So that's the beans. Nothing in here but beans. That's also I'm beans. Not hungry. It can't be beans, I all don't of need it. The toilet right now. Okay. So let's go into sick bay. It's a very limited space to live in, if you think about it. Oh man, there's so much blood. Date, 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday AM, vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday. Mm. Also cough with occasional blood. Intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest, temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees, blood present in feces. Mm. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. Mm -hmm. Plan. Sick base day, white blood count test, monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams orally per day for four days. That is not good. What do we have here? Blood. Emergency access only. This door will open automatically in event of an emergency. No so, lights. yeah, this is the uh, emergency safe. stairwell. That door only opens in an emergency. Yeah, so we... lights up if there's a leak. Yeah, so we don't really have an option. In the immortal word of Spice Girls, what goes up must come down indeed. Rawr, Amanda, rawr! Okay. Gonna walk down, down the hall. And let's go into Mother's room, which is disgusting. Just to see if anything happened in there. No, everything looks normal. So we're gonna go down to level three now. Okay, just been watching this half movie style game you're playing and legit since the sound has been sitting and screaming that there are security cameras in the warden's office. I know, I checked them. Nothing was on them. But we can go and check them if you want to. I need to do it. Yes, you do. DVG, are you afraid that I'm gonna call you out for backseating? Haven't you checked the tags? Dude, are you watching me in full screen? <laughs> Level three. <laughs> I 
are these the stairs to Hades? I did I did check the sur uh, surveillance, um, but that was before the sound. And yes, sort of full screen with chat on inside. No worries. No worries. The war room. The war room. Let's check the war. That is absolutely a tank. I recognize that shape. That is a tank. After the sound happened. Yeah, we could do that. Today, you're going to be the buddy. Or I'm going to bomb your home. Uh oh. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms. I can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it's it, the George. Plague. You don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from or how it will spread. We have no cause, we have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's oh. just us. So get yourself together and fix this. Do you understand me? What's that? Cooling system. Oof. Oof. Fast one. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bishop. I'm, I'm just on edge. This Guess place, we all are. It's full of ghosts. That is... That is the brick. No worries, Manda. All good, all good. The wooden brick to which end civilization. Right? Soldier. Ooh. My bravest fighter. I'll call him Rocky. Nice. I used to pinch these blocks to make my toys. Oh, so that's how he made the... Um, the 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 dolls the toys he stole the wooden blocks and then carved them what a cheeky little bastard oh man waiting report for westminster healing Heathrow airport comes dead twickenham west northolt Yep. Lot of dead. Okay, we're gonna move past. We gotta go to this. Because we need that suit. I don't know if this is a room, though. Click. It is the room. Holy shit. What was that memory? That was some scurry shit. Yeah, what the fuck? Now we scurred. What an incompetent general, not noticing the centuries, <laughs> the centennial's loss of his tank brigades. Right? Oh, is that a? Oh, that's a rad meter. Yeah, it would be good to actually have one of those in hand. What are these? Okay, so NBC suit safety guidelines. In the event of nuclear radiation leak, the following items are required in uh, for complete protection. Checklist. Protective clothing, respiratory equipment, radiation detection. Protection provided highest available level of respiratory skin and eye protection from solid, liquid, nuclear, and gaseous chemicals. Ensure suit integrity has not been compromised by wear and tear and rips and punctures before use. Ensure all sips and fastenings are sealed before entering the contamination area. Duly noted. Yeah, guess we got everything we need. This is emergency access only. This door will only open automatically in event this of emergency. This door only opens in an emergency. So that's the same as above um, in the um, sick bay. Oh, 
Oh, you can really hear the knocking now. That sounds human, though. Because it's not consistent. Okay, <laughs> that suit is way too big for him. He had to fold in the... The pants. Okay, so I guess someone went sort of on a killing spree. Told you, Stoys. Yep. No way back. Um, he's got no filter on. I'm just saying there's no filter on this mask. It's the mutants. There is no filter on the mask. I call bullshit. <laughs> yeah, what is up with that memory? Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. There is a 90s discotheque down here. We got smoke machine and everything. There is no filter on that mask. Oh. I hate it. You notice the filter problems? Okay, so what is not going to kill us down here? Um, we need light in an emergency. Let's read some data. Uh, critical fault detected, main air filtration system, active uh, effectiveness, 71%, filter broken or obstructed, replace filter, filter immediately, disconnect pressure and main valve before continuing, backup air filter system, offline filter effectiveness, zero. Right, the enter button uh, removes everything on screen. That is how that works. That is good computing. Air filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95, 1611, check by PJT. Main filtration unit running okay, cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure, readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well. I'm concerned okay. about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than spec says due to higher outdoor red than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. Fair enough. PJ. <laughs> Don't worry, I've counted three BS moments so far. It was nice to have a look at the, the keyboard layout. The layout? What is wrong with the layout? It It's an Amstrad. Layout looks fine. Oh, toy! What's a cheeky place to hide a toy? PNG. The toys are the collectibles. Now I got six out of nine. Engineer fixes all problems down in the uh, in the scary levels. Accident book. Accident report. Date twelfth of August ninety two. 1910. It says incident, not accident. Run scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Rad level is way too high on output. Over 500 rem. 500? Across the board. I thought it was a duff filter. Tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We got contaminated dust clogging the lower X duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. Don't think it's a hairline. Without taking this apart, cleaning, resealing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. Mm -hmm. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. But that was in 92. Bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You only worry people. Yeah, Bishop is a bad leader. He's not fixing shit. He's Didn't just telling everybody to shut up. That is, uh... That's not how you lead. Yeah, I guess that's it. So we gotta... We gotta do a hands-on thing. 
Uh, are we dying? I need to turn off that steam. Why did you stay in it for so long? Uh, do we have some kind of... Oh, there's a valve. Main pusher valve. Come on, John. You can do it. You strong boy, strong lad. How the heck did that end down here? Like, boy was not giving, going down there until he was. Plot twist, this is actually a fallout vault. Um. Did that just spring leak? Am I supposed to walk in slow motion like I'm on the moon? See, this one is broken. Straight up, we can't... We can't do anything. This door is broken. This door is straight up broken. Yep. Hey, we got... We got tape! We can seal! We can't do, we can't do anything, really. We have this, we have that. So yeah, we could, we could tape this fracture. That's not going to do much. Um, we have a rag. That looks like a filter though. How do I move backwards? Are we stuck? I am not sure what to do. Did he just fix the reactor by turning one valve? No, no, no. He just turned off the steam. I am confused. Am I supposed to grab anything here? I can't grab anything. What about here? I see these... Um, also this gauge seems to be broken. But yeah, I can't click any of this. Are we stuck? Escape, resume game, return, select. Return instead of enter. See, that's fun. Return. Instead of enter. Aha! See? That is some old ass computing. Do you have an inventory? No. I only have my toys. Let me see. Is there like a controls layout? Controller sensitivity? No. So we have this. And there's nothing highlighted. Like, I can't even use, like, the rad meter. Because cause he has a rad meter on him. And what would make sense right now is for him to measure... Like, how bad the leak is. I can't... I can't take out the tape. I can't take out the filters. I can't do anything with this. And there's no back button. I am a little bit confused on what to do. Seems like this one is open, this one is half open. Okay, I just learned something. If I um, right click, I can move back. But I can't move back from this window, this, this frame.
He is really breathy. Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing highlighted. Are we stuck? Maybe this is just an expression on the fertility of the situation and you are meant to feel the frustration of the character. He doesn't seem frustrated. He seems afraid. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am honestly very, very, very confused. And you got a good, uh, good idea of what's going on here? Is this where we go to YouTube and see what people did? Because I'd be confused. Okay, so I'm, oh, this, okay, that was pretty hard to see, I will say, that was, that was not in the light or a corner, yeah, this was pretty hard to see, ooh, these are the filters, rad meter going haywire. Yeah, that is broken. That is broken. It was so obvious. Right. So am I supposed to put it in here? This is just the, the nuclear waste hole. Yeah, that is leaking though. That is leaking. At least we got a, we got a spare. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen, get it out of my sight. But we got a spare filter, guys. It's okay. We can afford to lose one more. I love the way that he just chucked it in that hole. It's like, bloop. <laughs> Notice how radiation just went away. Like that. No, me neither, GVG. Me neither. Those are some soft screws. And now we can back away. Okay, cool. Anything here we can check? Manometers. Nope. We're gonna turn on the valve. He's gonna slide off the stairs, the steps, and uh, he's gonna break his neck and uh, credit roll. Oh, he it, it is wonky though. Whoa! Valve is stuck.
buddy, are you okay? <laughs> 400 rems a day keeps the doctor away. John, are you fine? John? John, are you Is, that is an open fracture. Mm. Feeling bad for the poor man. Me too.
buddy. But, uh, you need to do something. Hydrasil! Yes, yes, we read that it's it's harmful. It's so hard to see. Yeah, forceps. Come on, John. Wait, you're not going to use it to pull it out or anything? Time to play. Find the obscure interaction point on the screen. Right. I think I turned up the brightness just a bit too much. Let me just correct that real quickly. This might help. So a ruler and some forceps. Um, I'm sorry to say, but you're stabilizing that totally wrong. Goose, can you can you just come in here with your medical expertise and just say that what he's doing right now is actually uh, way wrong? Because he is not. So basically, he broke his his arm. 
And this is how he's stabilizing it? Oh, John. Emergency exits are working now. Oh, shit. Warning. You fucked. <laughs> Ooh, output. Okay, so yeah, there is zero filtration going on. John, you gotta do something. Dude, you gotta do something, or you did. Oh, and suddenly now he's not in pain? Wait, what? Okay, so these are the back steps. Boy, your arm is fucked. Looks like he is in a ton of pain. Oh, are, are these rad meters? Wait a mo, he's been here before. Keep your damn What are you doing here? We're supposed to stay. Don't over dead. I was just exploring. Oh, John. I want that door sealed shut immediately. Yeah, it's. Yeah, right, so I don't know what he's doing. It. Keep your little shit in his quarters before he explores the wrong place and gets us all killed. Seal that door immediately. He is doing the forever sleep. So that's sealed off. And we got rad. So we can go this way or that way. I'm gonna I wanna go that way. I wanna see what is this. Is this where they do the experiments? Is this is this where they do butt stuff? Oh, at least it's got a handle on the inside. Oh, that sounds like broken glass. It is broken glass. Man with guns gotta be man with gun. Quickly, quickly. Well done. Well done, love. Oh, We're safe. beep, boop, beep. We need what code. There's a handle on both sides. Right? Unless it's got a locking net mechanism on the inside. Oh, there's a hole in it. So, yeah, radiation is leaking. It means to get through. Oh. That wouldn't be very dramatic. <laughs> True. Wait, what? Um... So... Why did he go the other way? I'm confused. So that's the back side of the war room. He's got to feel absolutely terrible because the level of radiation right now is so high. The 14 sensors. They show we have a range of 700 to 1,000 rads for anyone exposed to the atmosphere. What, what does that mean? Well, that means you get very sick. Anything over 200 rads can be fatal. No. Yeah. How long before it's safe to go back up? Our best guess 20 to 30 years. 
Cas Sam, can we last that long? Oh, sure. Do we have enough food? Yes, you. Y yes, it'll, it'll be all right. We may have to ration a little, but it'll be all right. He's lying. Mom? Son? It's all right, darling. Everything's going to be fine. smoking cigars but saved us in the war in a war well did he now um oh crap so the war room is safe right now it leads down to the other glass doors yeah so we need to take the emergency exit oh it's Hush. the shaft It is a fallout vault. Come on. Lean into it, boy. We're gonna go Super Saiyan. Ha! There we go. I, I'm still saying that the way he's supporting that broken arm is wrong. Also, he didn't do anything to seal the wound. He did absolutely nothing. I'm sorry, son, you did fuck all. Is, are you gonna do it head first? Please, please don't do it head first, John. Please don't do it head first. That would be very, very dumb. <laughs> yeah, he could have pushed with the other shoulder. Okay, mm. you better get moving, boy. Radiation waits for no one. Save your butt again? Well, I can see the carriage around it is ending here, so I guess he could have jumped down. But still. Wouldn't want to make light of the situation. And now he's down. Okay. So now we're down uh, where the sewage system is. That is level five. That is the place people hate. I see a tape. Well, I'm calling it. <clears throat> 12th of November, 1992. Carl and I have been scanning all the bands for three days now, just in case. But there's nothing. The last contact we had with anybody was 17th of October. CN1 in Bedfordshire. From what could work out, they were fighting over food. Never had anything more. So that's it. We're done. There's no one else out there. Or if there is, they've got no idea we're here. 12th of November, 1992. They probably don't know. But the thing is, you can... You should be able to get out, though. The general. The general. Tells all the soldiers who to kill. Okay, so let's open the gate.
pull with all your might, boy. Nice. Level five. This is where we go Super Saiyan. Also, we're, we're down with the sewage system is. So is this the escape hatch? We have, oh, what is this? So we need some sort of tool. Yeah. The axe man. Also, where did they like how did they get rid of all the bodies down there? Oh there's the hook. Help me, John. Okay, open it. Pull. Looks like a heavy one. coming just gonna pull that over his big toe so where is that hook oh you're gonna use that I guess that could work yeah Okay, open it, open it, open it. You can do it. Strong boy, strong lad. With one arm. That's like some sort of crawl space. I need light. So we're going to take the flashlight and don't think there's anything else. No fucking way he held on to that as well. Yeah. You're not pushing under it, dude. You're pushing into it. Now you're pushing under it. I think that's mechanical. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that with your bare hands. I think that is supposed to be operated mechanically. Yes. I honestly do not think you're supposed to be able to do that with your bare hands. Okay. So we're going to go down. Get in there, John. Oh, fudge. Why is it so red? Is the light red? Seems kind of odd. Are we inside the sewage system now? Push it. Are we gonna get a quick time action now? So this is poop central. This is the sewage system. Got eight more toys to use. Well, I only got seven because I don't have a complete collection. I need nine. I only have eight. But I'm gonna I'm gonna work hard trying to get that last one. I think I missed it though. So what's in here? Nothing. 
Um, guess we're gonna move on then. Escaping through the sewage system with an open fracture. Yeah, that, that's that sounds like a bad idea. Hey, mom. Oh, he's got the keys. Oh, nice. We're saved. Perfect. Looking for the key. Yeah. Why Hand it over. Give you a way out, Margaret. You and the little rat are not going to leave. You're not going anywhere. We're all gonna die down here. John, no! no! Yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Get the gun. Get the gun. Don't point at mom. Point at him. There we go. Also, don't throw guns. It's a bad idea. It's okay. No one can hurt us now. True. If he was the last one alive... I did it. Killed. Yeah, but I think that was a good idea. I think that was a justified kill. Right, guys? Was that a justified kill? I think it was a justified kill. Yeah. Self-defense. Absolutely. So, John, you're faced with the exit. What do we do, John? What do we do? We actually do... Ooh, I see streaks. We actually don't have the... Oh, ghost is hunting. Ghost is hunting. <laughs> Do we even have the key? The the code. Seven three something. Oh, that's the that's the refrigerator, the cooler. At least she helped him out. Three, seven, seven, three. It's all right, John. It's over. We're saving you. Right? That's three, seven, that seven, three? As long as I'm here, I'll look after you. Nothing can hurt us now. Yes, Mom. I love you, John. I don't know the code. I think I do. Three, seven, seven, three. Maybe I can work out the code. What's the code? Seven, three, three, seven. There's blood on the keypad. Seven, three. I need the code. Uh, clear. Maybe I can work out the code. I don't know the code. So three, seven, three, seven. There's blood on the keypad. Se seven, the three, code? seven, three. Maybe I can work out the code. I need the code. Three, seven, seven, three. There's blood on the keypad. What? I don't know the code. Blood on the eight. You're right. So three, seven, eight, eight. Maybe I can work out the code. What's the code? If you look at the amount of blood, this must be the one that she touched first. So three, three, seven, eight. 
There's blood on the keypad. Other room of post-apocalyptic courts. I think three, seven, seven, eight. Maybe I can work. I was just looking at how she was pressing it. I don't know the code. Three, seven, eight, three. There's blood on the keypad. What's the code? Seven, three, three, eight. Maybe I can work out the code. I need the code. Eight, eight, seven, three. There's blood on the keypad. I just saw her, like her hand was down and then the up, up, up a lot. I think, I think it's three, seven, eight, seven. Maybe I can or work out the code. What's the code? Three, eight, seven, eight. There's blood on the keypad. No. I need the code. Any good ideas? Seven three three eight. Maybe I can work out the code. I don't know the eight, code. Eight three three seven. There's blood on the keypad. What's the code? Still, this one has the most blood on it, so that's why I'm thinking this one was touched first. Then some of the blood got on this one, and then on this one last. Three seven seven eight. Maybe I can work. We out could also code. reverse that one. I need the code. Blood. Yes, blood. Is there something on the six? Let's just turn on the brightness. No, there's not. Wait. Ah, oh, that's why I didn't do it. See, there is a little bit on the six. Yep. Just gonna turn the brightness up just a little bit again. We, I think we whitewashed the game a little bit too much. <laughs> GG, DVG, indeed. Seems so. Yep. Some blood. So I guess all the bodies are down here. So this is the morgue. Obviously. Yeah. They're, everybody's down here. Yeah. Everybody's down there. Evacuate. Ooh, ooh, everybody was feeling bad. Oh, wait, 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 did I do it? Did I do it? No. Yeah, something definitely went wrong. Oh, maybe she did it. She did it. Oh my god. It was the mother. It was her all along. She must have moved every single body down here. Okay, that is uh, disgusting. Okay, I'm, I'm questioning why you're walking in at all, honestly. That's why she wanted him to stay in his room so he wouldn't discover all the secrets. Also, why is that wet? No! Why? 
Why are you doing this? What? What? What's your reason? I put the. If it's icky and sticking and not yours, don't touch it. Yeah. Holy shit. gonna die again, you know, being stuck in a bed. I don't know if it was the mother that did it, but it just looked like she made it so that everybody died so they had enough food to last. But it could be the butler who did it. Gone? Ow! <laughs> Caution, hot surface. I guess you found out. When you reach level five, find the ventilation hatch. Look for the hot pipe, but make sure it's the one with the warning label, John. Then open the top, but be careful. Then you run back to me as fast as you can. As fast as you can, John, promise me. I promise. Mm, the thing this. we're finding out now. Understand. Great You're water. Wrong. Great water, good. good boy. Out. She couldn't kill anybody. She had to have her boy do the dirty business. Why is everything open? Why is it so accessible? Find the hot pipe. That looks like poop. Did we put poopy water into the... In the water? Did we get poopy water? Everybody just dying from E. coli? That's an... That's an air vent. guy situation <laughs> that is some oregano water oh so yeah so it was set in the glass and down by the hot pipe so it could evaporate yeah. 
Yeah, so now it starts evaporating. That makes sense. Called it. Called it. Mom, mom will be the murderer. And she had to have her son do the dirty. Yeah, it's airtight. There must be some funk. Yep. That's gotta ruin your image of, you know, your mom and what is true and what isn't and how it all was. Oh man, it is spreading. Come on, come on. Okay, so what, what key? Take the yellow one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Okay. What Gotta go red it? then. But why are you so sure? Why are you so sure it could be those? Oh. That's a freezer latch. Anyway, mustard gas the, the bunker. Supposed to escape if the bunker flooded with gas. There's a plot hole. Well, I guess the filtration system would filter it out eventually. So they're just waiting for the filtration system to get the rest. By the way, why does he have laces on his shoes? Now we have whale sounds. Hmm. Yeah, the waiting game. So we're gonna go upstairs. This looks like the right amount of dirty. pets. John, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. Man up, boy. You Come on. It. Keep moving. Yes. Keep moving. By the way, you said that. gonna come out at you know the middle of Piccadilly and everything is just gonna be super normal. Wait, what? Who's grabbing? Do his Taylor Swift shake it off. Prepping him to be a bad aggressive pit. John, you got this. He's 
gonna be fine. Yes, you can. We're leaving. You can't leave me, Johnny. Yes. You promised you belong here. Everything I did, I did for you. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and spit it out. Fourteen months. How fast? Margaret, where's the Lindane? Oh, so it was the Lindane that she used. Yes. She was, she was straight up killing everybody so that they had enough food. Do we have enough food? I have to ration. Instantly dies to rad. Yep. I called it. I called it. It was the mother. It was the mother. I called it. Too, mom bye she was rationing food yep she was rationing okay so now I guess I have to leave or stay leave or stay so what are we what are we doing we're leaving Again, that is a freezer latch, but anyway. Breathe. Just as you did when you were a baby. <gasps> and he dies. If we press continue, we should get right to the point where he leaves. Yeah. So we can take the alternative. The plot armor. <laughs> let's go. Let's go and see what happens if he stays. Because fuck it, we got time. Ye old plunker. Keep moving, John. I says he dies. You think? He probably will, though. Like at this point, as you said, if 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 the infected arm doesn't get him, like it almost. It almost makes no sense at this point. Ow. It is hot. Likely. When you reach level five, find the ventilation. Yeah, because look for the hot. Pot. When you think about it, it's the one with the warning label, John. 
Then open the top. Be careful. When you think about it, you um, as fast as you can, as fast as you can. the arm is fucked. Me. I promise. It's infected. It surely is. You'll it has stand. to be infected. And good boy. Be careful. Everything is just filled with radiation. But the reason why I think everything down there is is radiated is not because of outside radiation. I think it's because of. Uh, the, the, the whole filtration system just not being maintained well, and now it's just leaking out everywhere. My hot pipe. But who knows? Who knows? It's hard to tell. My hot pipe. My hot Bunker's pipe. flooding with radiation. How will he not die, right? He will get the sandwich of destiny, and he will eat it, and the cheese will be good. He's so dead. He is so freaking dead. If he's not dead, like, the hell? I love the music. The score to this game is so good. Someone made an effort. This is the stinky jar. I don't know what that sediment or residue or whatever it is at the top is. I'm still calling it oregano water. I don't care, it's oregano water. It's pizza juice. And the actor here, you can really see on his face that he sort of discovers the real truth about things and and that it was actually his mother that did this. His performance is actually really good. We never actually Come tried on. out the, the green key. Just for fun, let's try out the green key. It's the it wrong one. The key. Yes, it's the red. What key is it? I just wanted to try it out. Stairwell. The whales. <laughs> yep. The whales. It's not whales, it's Coventry. 
I remember back in my elementary school or an incident with the chemistry class where a student accidentally made chlorine gas and sent the whole class to observation. That's perfect. Come on, John. It is a sick ending. It really is. Come on, John. Like, it was very well written. They'd be barking orders. If you think about it, this kind of game is not the hardest to make from a gaming perspective, like from um, a game development perspective, like uh, point and click games are super easy. Um, what you need though, to make a point and click game that is truly successful is a great story. And then Come you on. can either animate it or you Keep can do moving. as they did and make an FMV. FMVs are definitely more costly though. Um, Cause you need to hire actors, camera, lighting, setting, everything. So, no matter how you look at it, it's very depending on quality of story. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Now we come up to the door, and this time we stay. That arm? Yep. Yeah, it is his own, but they faked it anyway. Yeah, he was trying to stop himself. Yeah. They had to fake it. He can't really grab himself that way and film it. <laughs> That's mom. She's kind of hot, I'm not gonna lie. She'd be a cutie. I did for you. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and spit it out. 14 months after that. Margaret, where's the lead date? That top left. You never know from Mrs. Harrison. Yeah, it's a cool effect if you think about it. it it's it's sort of a metaphysical showcase of his own anxiety. Because he's fighting against everything that he's always been told by his mother and by everybody. Is that the outside is dangerous, you need to stay here, you need to stay safe. <laughs> Especially that if he's pulling the handrail, is he grabbing the stove with a broken arm? <laughs> so, we're going to stay. We will let our fears and anxiety get the best of us. I wonder if the world is just carrying on like normal. Like if everything is all right. I would love to see if everything outside was fine. There we go. Same, right? <laughs> Same tone. Nope. 
Oh, man. This was interesting, though. This was interesting.